Picture this, a rainy, gloomy day. It's about 35 degrees out and the last thing you want to do is go outside. So instead of stressing about the things that you could be doing, you decide to take care of yourself. You pick up that favorite book that you just haven't had time for and brew yourself a cup of tea. Tea is simple to make, many people agree that it tastes amazing, and scientists have shown its many health benefits. It's soothing when you are sick, but can also provide a boost on a regular day. Tea is incredibly versatile and the benefits are numerous. However, there are some ways that you can make tea drinking an even better experience. Rather than simply dunking a tea bag into hot water and drinking it right away, you should follow a simple procedure and take into account a few things that will make your cup of tea so much better. The first thing to take into account is the quality and quantity of your tea leaves. Now when you're choosing your tea leaves, you want to consider what you want your tea to accomplish. For example, a black or a chai tea will give you energy, um, but unlike coffee, which has a very high, um, high caffeine content, black tea or chai tea is going to give you energy but without the jitters, so it's more of a pure energy. Green tea will provide health. It has many health benefits. That's um, one of the most scientifically proven healthy teas. And um, herbal tea is very soothing. Um, many herbal teas are soothing and this herbal tea in particular, this is a ginger turmeric tea. And this one is very good for soothing a sore throat. So there are different properties that each tea has that you should take into account. Now second, um, you should take into account where they're being stored. Uh, one problem with many tea bags is that when they're stored in uh, a container that's not airtight, they're absorbing um, odors and bacteria from the kitchen from the kitchen that they're stored in because most tea bags are stored in a, in a kitchen. So make sure that your tea bags are being stored in some sort of airtight airtight container um, or your tea leaves. Um, these are tea leaves being stored in a tin, which is an airtight container. Um, or if you are going with tea bags, you could get ones that are sealed in individual packages because this will prevent uh, the absorption of odors. Now, third, um, the proportion of tea to water is also very important. Uh, the golden rule is kind of one teaspoon of tea leaves, of loose tea leaves per cup of water that you're adding. However, I like to add a little bit more tea leaves when I'm brewing an herbal tea to make it a little bit stronger and less when I'm doing a black tea. So it's important to play around with it and kind of decide what um, your proportions are and what you like. Now the second thing to take into account is the brewing method. Using pre-made uh, tea bags, you can use pre-made tea bags like these or you could use an infuser like this stainless steel one or like these paper tea bags. Now the thing about these, um, both of these infusers is that they allow the loose leaf tea to float around and uh, the essential oils are better absorbed into the tea and they're better dispersed. Um, but with these tea bags, the tea doesn't, doesn't have the chance to expand as much and so it's kind of trapped and so you don't get all the flavor and all the benefits that you could be getting. Uh, but these are very convenient and I always keep a tea bag with me no matter where I'm going. There's always one in my backpack or if I'm traveling I always take one on an airplane. Uh, so these are very convenient and so that is a benefit. And you can get a really good tea out of a tea bag. Uh, water temperature is also key. Make sure that the water is freshly boiled but not too hot because uh, tea loves oxygen. And water that's been boiled for too long or water that's been kind of sitting there or has been reboiled isn't going to have as much oxygen and so the tea isn't going to take as well into the water. Um, for standard tea bags, you want to let them steep for two to three minutes. Uh, for loose leaf tea, you can let it steep up to seven minutes. The larger the leaf, the longer the steeping time. So one of my teas has a leaf that's about this big and I let it steep for about 10 minutes. But if the leaves are chopped up very finely, which they are in tea bags like this, uh, the steeping time is going to be considerably shorter. Tea of good quality can be brewed up to about three times as long as it's not left to stew in the water for too long. Um, traditionally, it's actually believed that the second or third brewing is the best. Now third is cream and sugar, sweetening your tea and adding flavor to your tea. Some people prefer to drink tea at its purest and there are certain teas that I do drink um, totally pure because sugar can mask the flavors in the tea. But 
If you want a sweeter tea, try an herbal or a fruit tea, or you could even add honey because honey has a lot of health benefits. Adding cream before the tea is completely steeped will add fat to the water and prevent the essential oils from taking to the water so, it's not the, so the tea isn't going to come to its full flavor. Um, traditionally, cream is only added to chai and black teas once they're done steeping. So once it's totally at the point that you want it to be, you can add cream to it and it's not going to affect anything. Um, so just to review, first, Choose a good quality tea that will accomplish what you intend. Second, brew according to its specifications. Third, enjoy your cup of tea in peace, just the way you like it. But the most important thing to remember is that even if you don't have the time or resources to brew a perfect cup of tea, a simple tea bag with boiling water has the power to give your day a lift. The soothing yet energizing properties of tea are highly valued in many cultures and are easy to incorporate into everyday life. Thank you.